Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balan Brands, and today I want to show you how to send out an email broadcast using Keep Max Classic. So I there is Keep Max Classic, there's also Keep, which is a different interface, and I have different videos on each of those. But for this particular video, we're talking about Keep Max Classic. Alright, so the What's different about Keep is that it's not just a newsletter system. So if you use something like Constant Contact or MailChimp, um, you know, basically everything is built as lists already. Like in order for them to go into the system, they're, a li they're on a list. And in Keep, we have to create that list. And so one of the first things that I recommend is when you're thinking about sending out uh, an email marketing piece, if you're going to your entire database or if you're going to a specific segmented list, the important part is we need to have that list first. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on contacts, for example, um, or I can go up the dashboard and hit contacts. And I'm gonna take a quick look at what I have. Now under save searches, I've already got some lists that I've created. So if I look, I can see, you know, these are just some sample ones. This is my sandbox application here, so it's not an active, uh, real account, but so if I have certain types of lists, then I can send to those particular people. So like, let's say I click on new leads. Um, now that is just shown that it has a tag for new lead. That's how I create it or save that list. Okay, so whether it's tags, whether it's saved searches uh, or, or certain fields, it doesn't really matter what the combination is. The point is, is it just needs to be an actual saved list. Now I can also send out based uh, to contacts based on tags. So we're gonna show you that here in a minute as well. Um, so it's just, a, just kind of a, I don't know, a cheat, right? When, when I'm about to send an email, let's make sure we have the list first so that we're not going back and forth. All right, but to send an email broadcast, we're gonna go click up here on what we call that hamburger menu there. And under marketing, we're gonna go to email and broadcast. All right, so when I click on that, you'll see it actually has a list of previously um, sent emails or um, it might actually show uh, like scheduled ones if you have some scheduled. But here I'm just gonna go ahead and go to new broadcast and we're gonna go to email. And what this does, it pulls up by default our email templates. Our, they, they have a gallery here, I should say. So the gallery is what's pre-built. These are options that I can choose from that look just like this and then I can just change out the information. So it's nice to have, and you'll see they kind of have different ones, simple offer, simple text, feature. Um, so it's really cool because it's all built in and easy for us to use some different templates. So I can click on view if I just want to quickly see how it's going to come out. You know, and I just make decisions based on what I'm about to send out on whether or not that's good for me or not. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use template. And so now it's pulling up my, my template editor here. So you'll see up here, the first thing it's asking is like, okay, who are we sending it to? Right, so who's it from? So you can choose. Um, and one of the things I like about Keep too is if you have multiple contacts or multiple users in the system, um, let's say it's a, a happy Valentine's Day email, uh, but you have three different agents or um, you know users in the system that you want that email to come from. So um, you can do that where it's just the contacts owner. So by default, it will send out from the person who's basically in charge of that particular contact. Um, otherwise, I can choose, of course, a custom, uh, you know, user that it's always going to come from. So in this case, I'll go ahead and choose myself. And then recipient, you'll see it says start typing to add tagged contacts or save searches. So again, the lists are generated based on save searches or tags. So if you look here, you'll see these are the same save searches that I have. All right, so I've got that option. And then I could also just go by tags instead. So if I wanted to go for new lead... See, I have the save search and I have the tags. So whichever one I wanna do, I have that option to choose. Um, I could also choose multiple. I could do new lead. I can also do agent. Um, let's see, another one. What's another, here we go. Tags, get birthday, okay. So I have different options. So I could choose multiple and basically build a dynamic list based on people that are tagged with this particular tag. Okay. It also shows you the number of how many people it's going to go out to. So that's kind of a cool little feature too. Um, and then I could set up a new search or click on recipient options, like what email address we're going to, um, things like that. So a lot of, a lot of different features here, but see how it lets me just pull up and do a new search because if I didn't think ahead to go have that search already, 
I can do that. Now, a quick little tip I could do, let's say if I choose nothing and hit search, that pulls up all my contacts. So, and then it just basically makes a little default list as new list and the date that I made it. So that's everybody in the system if I just wanted to send it out to everybody. Now again, to keep your data clean, I recommend creating the save search once instead of having it dated like this with new list. I would actually just create a general contact database or all contacts or something like that so that I easily could access that entire database if everybody is meant to get that particular email. All right. Okay, so moving on, we go to subject line. Um, we do recommend for, um, this is our email, comma, and then there's merge fields over here. So you can actually put like their first name, for example. Now in Keep, if you don't have a first name specified, it actually will default to something like friend. And you can actually customize that. Uh, maybe you want it to always say customer or something. So that's actually a setting in another spot in Keep that I could update. But in this case, we'll go ahead and use the first name. Um, it does help from spam filters, things like that, make it more personal. Um, you could also do, there's a lot of different fields like, can you believe it's Tuesday already, right? So I could actually put something like, can you believe it's, and then I can choose, there's actually date fields, current day of the week. So I could do that, and then I can also still use maybe the name. All right, so there you go. Can you believe it's, so if today's Tuesday, for example, it would say, can you believe it's Tuesday already, Jeff, right? Pretty cool feature, really nice to be able to use those uh, merge fields and uh, some of that dynamic information in the email. Now there's preview text, so there's an option here to, um, you know, it's what shows up basically in the inbox before they click to go. If you don't enter a preview message, a lot of times the email programs are set to just start to, you know, use the first few sentences that are part of that email, but you could be a lot more specific, like, um, you know, the week is flying by, something like that. Um, you could put something more in there. And again, you can also use merge fields in that as well. All right. So now I have kind of that heading information. I can actually click this little details and move that out of the way and pull up. Now Keep also has a built-in spam checker, so it's saying this email has content that looks like spam, so it kind of goes through this. Now it just disappeared because it's gonna continue to reanalyze that as we make updates here. So I can click on the show spam check and it basically says your email content has some issues. The message format, the ratio of white space to non-white space characters is too high. So there's just too much white space in this case is what it's saying. Now keep in mind these are uh, kind of best practices and things like that, you're not always going to solve all of those issues. Um, so don't get too hung up in these, like if you just can't quite get it. If your message is thorough and it's accurate um, and your visitors are, are wanting your information and they're getting that information, you know, getting value from what you're sending, you're gonna uh, have some better deliverability there. So let's just focus on what works. Now, we have here, again, just changing things out, right? I can change the graphic, click on change image, use my you know, library, I can browse and upload a new one. I'm gonna change each of these, right? So I'm not gonna go through editing every one of these. This is just a simple editor. You can click on, change them, move things around, add uh, different design elements, okay? So the, the purpose of this video more is the function of sending out, uh, not necessarily how to design a particular Newsletter. So again, choose your template, update your images, update your text, and you're good to go. Now what's cool about this is we have the ability to test. So now I can just go ahead and hit test. I can send myself a test or anybody else that's in the system. And I can hit the um, test option and hit send. I can also preview it. So when I preview, it gives me a little what it's going to look like on both uh, like tablet or desktop and mobile which is really cool, gives me a little view there. Um, I could save it as a template if I'm gonna send this out later, um, or I could just simply click review and send. So let's say it's all ready to go, I click review and send, and it's saying that there's a particular issue found. Um, again, it's suggesting that we make that uh, edit to the white space and so forth. So once you have all your copy done, again, this is just a default, but once you have that done and set up, if there's different things you can do to kind of help uh, accommodate that, well then again, it's good practice and a good thing to do. You don't have to do it. it it'll actually let you still schedule and move it out or, or send it out when you want. 
but it is you know basically a recommendation. So you also have multiple options. So it's saying here, send at the best time of day. So I can click that little what's this. So based on data from billions of emails we send annually, we look at our emails designated, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually going to choose when it goes out, um, you know, the particular time of day. We can also just send now, ignore all the ideas because I need to get this out. We can send now or we can actually schedule it for a certain day and time as well. So once I click schedule, it'll be all set, ready to go. So you'll see again, very effective, pretty straightforward, not complicated thing to do, you know, learn a little bit about the editor, but um, use some best practices as far as the subject lines are concerned. Uh, but Keep is a great way to jump in here and send out an email blast. So if you have any questions or anything else we can help with, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at